Hi friends. So did you solve those questions that I had at the end of the video lesson, Archimedes principle part one? If you have, do watch this video to see if you got them right. In this video, I'll be showing the solutions to those top three questions. If you missed the video lesson on Archimedes principle, do check it out. I have a little poem in the beginning of the video that you might like. I'll be putting a link in the description below. As a recap, let me pull up the concept board for you from the video lesson. Here are the top three questions and let's go and solve them one by one. Question one. A measuring cylinder has 700 milliliters of water. When a body is completely immersed in water, the water level rises to one liter. Find the volume of the body in SI units. Let's visualize the question with the help of a diagram. So this is our measuring cylinder with 700 ml of water in it. When a body is completely immersed in the water like this, the water level rises to 1 liter. So what is the volume of the water displaced by the body? As you can see in the diagram, it's going to be this much of water. So the volume of water displaced is going to be 1 liter minus 700 ml. We know that 1 liter is 1000 ml. So we are going to get 300 ml of water displaced. Since the body is completely immersed in water, from Archimedes volume discovery, we know that the volume of the body will be the volume of the water displaced, which is 300 ml. But we need to find the volume of the body in SI units. What is the SI unit of volume? It's meter cube. So we need to calculate its volume in meter cube. We know that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cube. So the volume of the body is 300 centimeter cube. Now we need to convert this to meter cube. And one centimeter is one by hundredth of a meter. And 300 centimeter cube can be written as 300 into centimeter into centimeter into centimeter. And we'll convert each centimeter to meter by hundred. So we are getting three by 10,000 meter cube. So the volume of the body in SI units is 0 0.0003 meter cube. And that's our answer. Question two. How do you measure the volume of an irregular solid that is soluble in water? In this video, we measured the volume of my watch, which is an irregular solid by immersing it in water. Obviously, my watch is not soluble in water. But if you have to measure the volume of a piece of salt or sugar, then what do you do? Because you can't dip it in water since it will start dissolving and the measurement will not be accurate. So what do we do then? We need to choose a liquid that does not dissolve salt or sugar. Oil is an example of a liquid that doesn't dissolve salt or sugar. So to measure the volume of an irregular solid by the liquid displacement technique, you need to select a suitable liquid that does not dissolve the solid. Question three. A wooden cube of side 50 cm is floating in water with a height of 10 cm above the surface of water. Find the volume of water displaced by the wooden cube. Again, let's draw a diagram to visualize the sum. So this is our wooden cube where the length, breadth and height is 50 centimeters. 
Now let's draw the water to show the cube floating in water. 10 cm of the cube is above the surface of water. We need to find the volume of water displaced by this cube. As we've learnt in this video, the volume of water displaced is the volume of the submerged part of the body. Let's mark the submerged part of the cube in the diagram. So what is the volume of the cube under the water? So you need to think a little bit in 3D now. What are the dimensions of the cube under water? It has a length of 50 centimeters, a breadth of 50 centimeters. But what is the height of the cube under water? That's right, it's going to be 50 minus 10. So the height under the water is 40 centimeters. So what is the volume of the water displaced? It's L into B into H, which is 50 centimeter into 50 centimeter into the height of 40 centimeters. And when we multiply those numbers, we are getting a 100,000 centimeter cube. If you want to convert the volume to meter cube, you can do what we did in the first question. And you should get the volume of water displaced is 0.1 meter cube. So the volume of water displaced by the cube is 0.1 meter cube. I hope you found the questions helpful. There's a part two video that covers Archimedes principle in detail with exciting experiments. I recommend you to watch that as well. I'll be putting a link in the description below. And do remember to like, comment, and share this video and subscribe to my channel Manocha Academy.